It's been a tough year for the island's tourism market, first bearing the brunt of a worldwide economic downturn, which took a toll on the arrival numbers. And then came the swine flu, or the H1N1 virus, which was yet another blow to the already ailing industry. Guam has only seen its first several cases just recently, but the scare has been enough to lower arrival numbers even further over the last several months. But the Guam Hotel and Restaurant Association is remaining optimistic that things will turn around, sure that Guam is still a safe and attractive numbers. destination. As of last year, we, as you know, we've been dealing with that uh, financial crisis, uh, which is a worldwide issue. But uh, when the swine flu, flu first came on, uh, we did see some numbers drop for the last couple of months. Uh, but we're starting to see the numbers pick up. And I'd like to think that that's a result of uh, everybody working together, especially with our agents in uh, selling Guam as a safe destination. Um, in Hawaii, the drop in the tourism market has been enough for one longtime hotel to shut down, the Ilikai, a popular hotel for travelers. And while only one local establishment has decided to close its hotel operation, many others have scaled down some. Uh, I think the hotels have been certainly been uh, challenged over the last six to nine months, and they've been responding to that by cutting back on certain things. Some hotels, uh, you know, are operating certain floors. Some one hotel in Guam, uh, you know, a couple of them have have looked at other options, um, and they're doing flexible scheduling with their with their employees. So I think you see the businesses uh, doing what they can to survive these times knowing that tourism will be back up uh, to where we'd like it and so I think that's really the focus that we've all taken. Taking a look at the hotel occupancy rates now, June was not the greatest month but July looks a little more promising with a rise in bookings for this month. Well, with June, I know that numbers were still down as compared to even last year, which was down. So, uh, you know, this is the time frame. This last year is really when we've been seeing that uh, challenge where we've seen numbers go down from previous years. So I think you'll see that in last month's report. Uh, but July just seems to pick up. Not exactly where, again, we, where we want it to be, uh, not improving last year's numbers, but at least it's it's picked up. Um, but, you know, anyone will tell you that good data, a good trend is, is after three months. So we need to really, really really push for uh, the next couple of months to be a lot stronger than the year before.